Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is something I've been requested to film like a million times. And so I decided to finally sit down and do it for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I curl and style my short hair. Like I said, this has been so highly requested for so long. So I'm going to show you guys the products I use, how I curl it, the sprays, the everything, the technique I use. So you guys are going to be able to do this super easy. You can follow along. You can learn how I do it and do it for yourself too. If you guys are new here, welcome, hello, and I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss anything else. And if you guys are ready to see how I do this super cute, short, messy, beachy, wavy, curly hairstyle, you guys can go ahead and keep on watching this video. Okay, so like I mentioned, I have been asked to do this five million times. So today I'm really excited to finally show you guys all of the tools I use, the products I use, and show you just how easy this is. Um, it took a little bit getting used to when I first cut my hair because I had, I literally changed the way I styled my hair completely. Like I curl my hair now, nothing how I curled my hair when it was longer. So it was definitely a little bit of an adjustment period, but with the more time and the more practice, I really nailed a style that's quick, easy, and just turns out super cute every single time. Like it always looks good. It doesn't look like you put a ton of effort into it and it's just easy to do, which is just the most awesome thing because who wants to spend a ton of time doing their hair every day? And from this, I just find I can do so many things. I can tuck, I can pin, I can do half up, I could do a cute little, you know, like ponytail with pieces down. Like it just gives a good base for so many styling options. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it next and you're gonna see just how easy it is. And I will have links for everything I mentioned, all the products, all the tools down in the description bar on YouTube so you guys can snag them and check them out for yourself as well. But next I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I achieved this look. Okay, so I just blow dried my hair. Let me take my ring off real quick. I don't, maybe it's just me. Um, I don't like having hairspray and shit like on my ring. It drives me nuts. So I just got out of the shower earlier. I just blow dried my hair. The only product I have in it right now is just some like thickening lotion that I kind of use as like a heat protectant. Um, but I want to share with you guys my favorite prep products, what I like to do as I'm prepping my hair to curl it. Because if you are like me, I know my hair looks pretty thick. I keep it pretty healthy. I take collagen. It definitely helps with the thickness of my hair. If you haven't seen my whole video on collagen, oh my God, I'll link it in the description bar, but it changed my hair forever. It's amazing. I still like to prep my hair because my hair is naturally straight. Like this is no brush, no hands, no any, anything. This is just blow drying my hair upside down. My hair is poker straight and it's actually pretty fine. So I use a lot of product to build up not only volume but to give my hair a little more texture to give it a little more hold as far as holding a curl and to just give it kind of that like grit like they say you know dirty hair always styles better and thankfully there's a lot of products available nowadays that can make your hair feel that way without actually having it be dirty per se so we're gonna dive in I'm gonna share first of all one of my favorite products which this one's a little bit pricier but game changer. One of my um, hairstylist friends told me about it and I've sworn by it ever since. It is by Kerastas and it is the, <laughs> watch me butcher this, it's the Lynn, Lynn Cryable, Lynn Cryable Blow Dry. Let's say that. It is a late miracle thermo repositionable miracle reshapable heat lotion. Long wear hold. So basically how she described this to me, and let me put it into English for you guys because that's confusing, is this is basically a heat activated memory lotion. So you're gonna put this in your hair and it's going to memory like hold however you curl it. And I can say I can tell night and day when I use this and when I don't how much better my hair curls and how much less it falls. So you can put this in before you blow dry your hair. I have used it dry many times just to see and I, Honestly, think it works just as good when your hair is dry. So first, I'm just gonna take one pump of that. My hair is short, so that's more than enough for me. If your hair is longer, you might want a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna kind of work it through my dry hair, just make sure I'm kind of getting all of it distributed through there. And I will comb it in just a second, just to make sure everything's even. Sometimes I feel like this might even work better when I apply it dry, I'll be completely honest. Maybe just because it's more, I don't know, because I'm, I'm just more aware of where it's going because my hair's not wet. 
So once I have that in, I like to use a texture product next before I even start curling just to give it some of that grit and hold because it is so soft and fine. I'm gonna show you guys three options that I really like. The first one I have used a lot, um, and this is pretty new, is by Big Sexy Hair, and they have this texture, sexy hair, surfer girl, dry texturizing spray. Um, this one's pretty affordable. I have used it, I like it a lot. I find that it gives my hair so much more volume just using this. This one is super budget friendly, balling on a budget. It is the OGX, the Organics brand, and it is their Natural Finish and Aspen Extract Texture. Again, it's a dry texture finishing spray, um, so you can also use this at the end. I find this doesn't hold as much as it does give texture, so I prefer to use it before as a texture spray, but this one's really nice too. I had a bottle of the Oriuve, which I know it's just one of the most popular ones, but also the most expensive. Um, I honestly went through my entire bottle and I don't have another one right now. I know it's amazing and it is like everybody talks about it, but I wanted to give you guys some more like realistic ball on a budget options too. So this is honestly probably my biggest go-to when it comes to a texture spray and it's by Redken. I love Redken. I've always loved Redken and I love this. This is their triple dry 15 dry finishing texture spray. I do not use this as a finishing spray. Again, I find it does better with texture for me than it does hold. So I just, I don't know, I really like this one. I find it's not too sticky, um, it's easy to work with. So I'm gonna use this one for today. So what I do with this is really just kind of go through my hair. I usually flip it over to one side first and just work it in layers. So it's kind of mixed all through, but you can tell even after I do that, like it's already got more volume just from that little spritz. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I always like to focus a lot right in the front here. And also right at the crown in the back. And then I will pick up the back part. It's pretty short, but just to get some of it in there. I don't know, in my opinion, you can never have too much texture spray. But you guys can already tell how they gave it a little more zhuzh, a little more boost. A lot of times when I just blow dry my hair and use this, I get so many DMs about how I get this volume here. And I get so many questions about it and you guys can see, like I haven't done anything different. Like just texture spray, it gives it just a little something to where it's gonna hold and have that nice boost. So after I do that, I tend to just try to get my hair where I'm going to part it. I keep it just a smidge off center. And then you guys will notice I am not a pin it up in sections. Like ain't nobody got time for that. Like the easier, the better for me. I love hot tools. I have used hot tools since I got my cos license in 2008. Um, they last forever. I love their products. They're super great quality. You can buy them at Sally's or anywhere like that. This is a one inch iron. I prefer an iron over a wand. And I will tell you guys why. When my hair was long, all I used was wands. I find with shorter lengths of hair, it's just harder to get it, or I, I don't know, it's just harder to get it around to get the same shape. For me, it's easier to work with shorter lengths with an iron. Like I said, when I was longer, always used a wand. So it just kind of changed with the length of my hair. But I always start in this front spot. And what you guys will notice is I take a section, I clamp it pretty close to the top, and then scooch out so I don't ever have the ends in there and a lot of people I get so many questions about how I curl and honestly I think it's just such an easy basic thing but the main thing you don't want to do this is going to look super curly obviously it's not going to look like that so I'll show you what I do but what a lot of people want to do which I think is the biggest mistake is a lot of people want to start here or and then roll up and that gives you those like curly sue like sausage curls, which nobody wants. That's not a beachy, messy, like cute short hair wave that looks like Shirley Temple to me. So again, I'm just gonna take another piece here. I'm gonna show you guys right out a little bit, clamp and just start turning and, and pulling it open to pull the um, length of the hair through, but leaving at least an inch or so straight on the ends so that those ends aren't getting curled. And then I don't really have like an exact time I count. I just kind of eyeball it. Um, I do have this on the highest setting, which is 450. So it's pretty hot. So it doesn't usually take too long to curl. So like I said, you guys will notice I don't do this in layers. I just kind of like pull back the hair I'm not working with. 
And again, turn, leave the ends. But yeah, I don't have some like secret pro tip for like curl it in layers, do this. I honestly just kind of start working my way back and grabbing pieces as they go around my head. So I will speed this up as I'm doing this so you guys don't sit here for two hours watching me just curl. But I'm just going to repeat that entire process all the way around my head into the other side. Some of these back ones back here, I will say, like, if they're super short, I literally just, like, do a turn. I can't even really see, like, how perfectly they're being curled, but as long as they're just not straight, they'll still have that bend to them. But, I mean, obviously, the shorter pieces in the back, you won't be able to do the same amount of um, styling towards the bottom. So, as long as you're just getting, like, a bend in there, though, so they have a little bit of shape, it's just going to kind of make them where they're going to be messy, and they're just going to kind of mingle really well with everything else. You guys will see I'm literally just repeating the process from the second half, working back up to the front. And you'll notice once I got past the halfway point in the back, I started curling away from the face rather than towards it. Because if I would have continued curling, obviously we would have kept going around the other way. So once I get to this side, I'm curling back and away from the face, as you guys will see, clamping and curling away. But I'm just gonna keep doing that process until I get all the way through the side to the front and then I'll show you what I do as like a finishing touch to kind of do everything, break everything apart and all that stuff too. When I'm done going through my entire head, like obviously we are not gonna leave it like this, but what I like to do first is just go through and see if there's any really big pieces I can see that maybe need a little bit more curling before I start breaking things up because I do wanna give the rest of this a second to cool. By letting these cool in these like really tight curls, it's just gonna make them hold better um, and give them a little bit more grip. Okay, so once I have all the base curls in, what I'm actually gonna go do is start just getting my hands in here and shaking them loose and breaking it apart with my fingers. Like you guys can already see, it kind of puts it into that effortless like wavy. And then really just start working it like that and you'll start to see if there's anywhere you wanna add more definition, more shape. This is when you'll start to really notice where those pieces are because when you do this, you'll notice it does relax them quite a bit. So you'll be able to see really easily if there's pieces that are more straight than others or you wanna go back and curl. Like that one's pretty straight, so I'll probably go back in and kind of add a little more definition and do that one a little bit tighter. And so to do that, I'm literally just gonna go in, pull out pieces where I wanna do a little bit more of a defined wave or if they're too straight and just really do the same curling process I was doing earlier. And it's really just gonna make it look super cute because it's going to make it a little more messy, a little more beachy, have more messy texture. And you'll kind of see like, it just gives a little bit more definition to the color and shape of the hair as well, where it's not going to be like just one big wave of hair all solid. It's really gonna kind of break things up a little bit more and make it a little more fun. As you guys can see, it's super easy, super messy, beachy, voluminous, fun. It holds super well. And the last step you guys wanna to do to really like lock this in is use some kind of finishing spray. And this one, 
I discovered kind of on a whim, like I was at Sally's and the girl that worked there was like, oh my God, you have to try this stuff because I had asked her if they had something comparable to the Oribe one. And she was like, you need to try this one, the pink bottle. And they were sold out the first time I went. She was like, come back and get it. It's only $3.99. Like it is so good. You're going to want it. And I can say, honestly, anytime I go to Sally's, I literally buy like four of these at a time now because they are so popular. But this is their Volume Solutions Volumizing Teasing Finishing Spray. It has good hold and it just keeps that messy, beachy, PC look. It doesn't get crunchy and it keeps things just, like it's the only way to get this to stay looking as much as it does right now with actual holds. Because like I said, the texture sprays really do give good texture, but I just find they don't do as much for me in the holding department and making it last. So what I literally do when I use this is I go, oops, let me unlock it, and I just, hold it kind of up and then I'll even take my hand in and kind of scrunch it at the top with it. And you're gonna notice it looks really tight and like kind of like eh, for a second, but once it is dry and set, like I'm gonna kind of relax it again. And then I'm gonna do the same in the back, even though I can't see it, I'm just kind of same idea. And then I always give that a second to relax, but like I said, it is a little like zhuzhed up right after you do that. So again, I just kind of take my hands and work everything back into place how I want it to be. And that is it. It's actually pretty easy. I get questions all the time and it's really, really not that hard. Once you guys get this down like a routine, it's going to go super quick. It doesn't even take me that long anymore to do it. Um, but yeah, it's a super fun way to curl short hair with that beachy, messy, just really fun look. All right, so now that you have seen how quick and easy this is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you to see what I use and how I do it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. Make sure you leave some comments down below if you learned something new, if you're gonna be trying this, if you're excited to try this style in your hair. If you have products that you love that are maybe different from mine, feel free to leave those in the comments as well because I love trying out new stuff. I will have my face on the screen here per usual. If you guys click it, you'll be subscribed to my channel. I will also have some other videos for you guys to check out as well. Make sure you are following me on social media, especially Instagram, and come find all of my books on Amazon and Kindle. But I think that is all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.